quashing university protests and banning TikTok to make the kids love Israel. Notes from the Edge of the Narrative Matrix. It's just a tough situation with victims on both sides. On one side, you've got people being slaughtered in droves by genocidal massacres and siege warfare, while on the other, you've got people whose feelings get hurt when those atrocities are opposed. Hard to say which is worse. I have dedicated every day of my life to the project of spreading awareness of the depravity and deceitfulness of the Western Empire, but I will never write anything more effective toward this end than what the Empire is doing itself on university campuses right now. I mean, you have to kind of wonder what they're thinking. Yeah, that's it. Violently quash pro-Palestine protests at universities, ban TikTok to ensure the suppression of pro-Palestine content, and saturate the boomer media with obvious propaganda. That'll make the kids love Israel. Meanwhile, the U.S. Empire is still playing games with each and every one of our lives by continually taking insane risks in its world-threatening brinkmanship with a nuclear superpower. It turns out last month, the Biden administration secretly sent Ukraine long-range army tactical missile systems, ATACMS, which Ukraine has reportedly already used to attack a Russian base in Crimea. In 2022, when Ukraine first started urging the United States to send it the ATACMS, which has nearly four times the range of the HIMARS weapons the U.S. has been supplying, Russia's foreign ministry spokeswoman Maria Zharkova immediately responded with a warning that their use on Russian territory would make the U.S. a direct participant in the conflict, and Russia would respond accordingly. Crimea is considered Russian territory by the Russian Federation. In an article published in Anti-War last year titled Attackums, Be Very Afraid of This Acronym, West Suburban Peace Coalition President Walt Zlatow wrote that this missile system has potential to draw the U.S. and NATO into all-out war with Russia. Here's a quote. Attackums are long-range U.S. missiles that can strike up to 190 miles. Top U.S. officials, likely including President Biden, are seriously considering giving attackums to Ukraine in their battle to take back all Russian gains in Ukraine, including Crimea. They can reach both Crimea and the Russian mainland. If so used by Ukraine to attack Russia, it may be a missile too far that could ignite Russian tactical nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Further escalation into nuclear confrontation between Russia and the U.S. and NATO alliance seeking Russia's defeat becomes more likely." End quote. Biden proclaimed it a good day for world peace when he signed the World War III bill, which will pour weapons of death and destruction into Israel, Ukraine, and Taiwan. This is the inverted reality the U.S. centralized empire premises its narratives about itself upon. They've got the mainstream public espousing a completely backwards and upside-down worldview, which is why we live in a completely backwards and upside-down civilization. The Ukraine war funding part of the bill was actually reportedly pushed through with behind-the-scenes collaboration between Trump and Republican lawmakers. Anyone who still buys Trump's ending the war is fighting the deep state shtick is a fucking moron. When Israel's genocide funding made it through the House, Benjamin Netanyahu tweeted, The U.S. Congress just overwhelmingly passed a much-appreciated aid bill that demonstrates strong bipartisan support for Israel and defends Western civilization. Thank you, friends. Thank you, America. And he's not wrong. The U.S. Congress does have massive bipartisan support for Israel, and pouring war machinery into that genocidal apartheid state does in fact bolster the blood-fueled machine of nonstop murder and tyranny that is Western civilization. Human thriving arises from curiosity. Curiosity about the way our material universe operates leads to advances in science and all the benefits that come with it. Curiosity about how our civilization's power structures operate leads to an understanding of how the world really works, which will lead to the emergence of a truth-based society if realized on a collective level. Curiosity about our own consciousness and inner processes leads to self-realization, and the harmonious way of moving in the world which flows from it. If a healthy humanity exists in the future, it will above all be a deeply curious species. 
The values of competition, greed, and domination which currently drive the way our civilization operates will have given way to curiosity, humility, and discovery. We will have cultivated a humble but intense curiosity about ourselves, about each other, about our collective societal dynamics, and about our natural world.